2000 model Peterbilt 379. We're working on this girl right here. We're doing the uh, rear alignment. All right, so one of the things that uh, with these uh, low leaf systems, low air leaf by Peterbilt, <clears throat> is you have a lot of parts that you have to loosen up to adjust this, okay? You have a U bolt here, you have a bolt here, and you have two bolts here. So one of the things that we did first here uh, was we pulled these bolts out and we adjusted this side all the way back because it was pretty far. So you have to have at least one shim in here and, <clears throat> and you have to have one under here to uh, lock this down. Uh, we had to replace these because these were pretty bad. They wouldn't come loose. We did tore them up taking them out. And you got things like this bolts in there too, man. You can't pull them bolts out every now and then. Everybody forgets about these bolts and stuff on these trucks. You know, you gotta inspect these bolts like this. So one of the things that I suggest doing is go ahead and just replacing these adjustment bolts because you'll just be fighting it the whole way. You can take that bolt on out there. One of the side we're going to adjust. So other side I replaced the bolts and cleaned them out. But to, before you even start this, just take one bolt out. The old trusty air compressor and put it in there. Now you're gonna need a three quarter by 10 tap. Let's go ahead and set that on up there like that. Get her started. I just run me a little cutting oil right here on top like that. Just go ahead and uh, run her on in. I get some of that stuff out of there. So that way it makes it for an easier transition. Easiest one to adjust is probably going to be the Volvo or the Freightliner. Volvo is probably the easiest one to adjust. It's just got cams in it. But once this thing is set, it has very, once you got it set correctly and got everything tied down, it's very unlikely it'll move. So we take our measurement from center to center. Go around. around. come back just a little bit all right so what you're going to do is right there you want to tighten these bolts up first and check it now i've already got this set from the other side to speed this video up but that's dead on perfect right there next you tighten this bolt up you tighten the clamp up and then you fold these ends over and then you put loctite on everything so nobody will ever get it out again no i'm just kidding 